This year, ahead of Double Ten National Day, Taiwan saw a groundswell of support coming from India. Indian media defied China by publishing Taiwan's National Day ads, while Indian netizens flooded Taiwanese social media with National Day good wishes. This week, Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu, took an interview with an Indian news program where he thanked the people of India for standing up to Beijing. Taiwan happens to be on the front line of the Chinese expansionism. Taiwan is the democracy and we want to fight for our existence and we want to be prevail so that democracy around the world can prevail. In an interview on India Today, Foreign Minister Wu reiterated Taiwan's position. He also thanked Indian media for defying Chinese threats by printing Taiwan National Day ads. We are very happy to see that uh, the Indian press and the Indian friends uh, disregard the Chinese pressure and they celebrated our National Day with us. Uh, the fact is that Taiwan is a democracy and Taiwan shares the same value as Indians. Meanwhile, Indian social media is abuzz with posts related to Taiwan. In a recent tweet, President Tsai Ing-wen shared photos of her 2012 trip to India's Taj Mahal. In the tweet, Tsai used the Hindu greeting Namaste, saying that the warm greetings of Indian Internet users brought back pleasant memories of her trip. The tweet has been shared over 10,000 times. Since India has taken up the banner of Taiwan's National Day, President Tsai's Twitter account has grown hugely popular. It now has over 1.5 4 million followers. This is the metaphorical blending of bubble tea and masala chai. I believe that very soon India will be adding bubbles to its masala chai. The second phenomenon that's unfolding is the awakening of civil society. The global winds of change are stirring, says Deputy Foreign Minister Tian Zhongguang, who is stationed in India for eight years. At the annual meeting of the Taiwan-India Parliamentary Friendship Association, the India-Taipei Association commended Taiwan for its successes with COVID and economic development. It said it anticipates close cooperation between the two countries in the future. There is great admiration and great recognition in India for Taiwan's many achievements and with its complementary capabilities can be an ideal partner for you in this journey. To be sure, China-Indian relations have been tense. Conversely, Taiwan-India relations have been steadily improving. Even Taiwanese investments in India have seen growth. It's 100 percent. Indian representative to Taiwan Gurangal Das has even visited the legislature. That is a first. Taiwan-India relations are moving forward with interactions between governments and people to people.